What's up YouTube? Back with another video today and I'm going to actually um, do another review on some uh, knee pads and uh, elbow pads or elbow guards knee guards. And I know you're thinking, okay, this is like my fourth video on fourth or fifth video on knee pads and elbow pads, but the thing is is um I definitely want to always do these type of videos because when I'm researching some of these and I'm trying to find the right ones, there's not a whole lot of videos of people giving reviews or trying these products on or talk or talking about the um, the fit and size of each one. So I always find myself ending up getting the wrong size, sending it back. You know, it's a lot of trial and error. So I think these videos are helpful for people to just use as a guide on what size they need to do or what which particular one they want to go with so that's why I continue to do these um, type of accessory videos I am here to talk about the POC VBD Air um, pads now I already have one video of the sleeves this is the video that I did before so of the, the um, actually yeah let me do this first so these are your POC VBD Air elbow pads and here is the one the ones that I've used that I did a review on which are the actual sleeves now I like the sleeves I like the sleeves one because it has the well I've already done the review on that so I don't need to talk about it um, if you haven't seen that review go check out my video on the P POC VBD air sleeves um, I talk about basically discuss the knee and elbow versions of this but these are going to be different and just to show you the leg part of these are actually the sleeves as well. So this is the knee. Alright. So I'm going to put these away because I've already done a video on this. So today I'm here to talk about just the actual elbow and knee pads by themselves. And so um, I got these at a super good deal. Um, actually a, a guy was selling them and I got these for 70 bucks for all four of these normally these sell I think for 90 and I think these sell for 60 so this is like a hundred and fifty dollar set that I got less than half off brand new so um, you can never go wrong with an extra pair plus I have bikes uh, I have my other bike in North Carolina so I may just take these to North Carolina and have a set there so I'm gonna show you the fit um, for um, the elbows first right so um, I am six feet tall um, I weigh 173, 175, and I'm slim build, and my arms and legs are very skinny. Okay, most of that weight is like, like, torso area. Um, so my arms aren't that big. I don't know the actual circumference. I didn't measure and all of that, but I have slim, athletic arms. This is a size medium, and inside of it, you'll actually see the sizing you'll see the M and then it says left which means the left arm and so basically you just slide these on taking the velcro strap off to loosen it up a little bit and it goes like it fits right in place it almost like just fits in there and I for this size don't need to tighten the strap I'm just going to just place it there gently and it's already on. It's a, it's already a pretty much good fit for me. So if I would have got the large, it definitely would have been too too big for me. Small definitely would be too small. The medium fits just right. It really truly for my arm fits just right. So it's not tight or uncomfortable, but um, I don't need to tighten the strap at all. And so on the left arm. Wait a minute. Yeah. Same thing. Boom. There you go. Arm pads ready to go. Um, when you when you wear arm pads, the it does take a while to get used to them if you're not used to wearing them. But I've fallen. How many times have I fallen on my bike? I would say at least five to seven times. And out of those times, I only had pads on once to protect me. And I actually have that on video. That that um that video that I have of Markham Park uh, down in Sunrise, Florida. If you check out that video in the beginning of the video, I crashed pretty hard. But you'll see I had on the uh, race face padding um, at that time, so that's what protected me from that. And I was going downhill, and I fell. 
and it hurt, but at least, and I fell pretty much starting off on my elbows. So the padding definitely protected me that day. The other times I fell, um, I had no padding on and it hurt. And that's what actually got me into really looking at body armor itself. And so I'm actually even in the last time I fell on the Epic, um, I hurt my upper leg and my torso. So I'm actually looking at some light protective body armor or body protection um, as well. Something very light though, not, not too bulky or heavy. Um, and so these are the knee pads. I'm just gonna put these on for you real quick. Again, this is my medium and this is the right side. So I do that first. This one, I may have to tighten a little bit, which is interesting. Yeah, this one I'll have to kind of tighten just a tad, yeah, just to make sure that that fits. So if you're my, my size and you're slim, I definitely recommend going with the medium, not the large, because these feel a little bit bigger than the elbow guards. Um, yeah, these definitely have to tighten a little bit. Boom, there you go. So, um, between the two, which one would I recommend more so than the other? I think you can't go wrong with either or. Uh, the elbows compared to the sleeves are almost exactly the same. The only difference I notice is that this has, no, it's not, it's about the same padding. It's not that it's a thicker padding, it's that the padding here goes more up at an angle than it does here but I think the reason why it does that is because you have the sleeve here and so they kind of went more up at an angle but other than that it's the same light protection this is not heavy duty protection this definitely light so the elbows are almost the same it's just if you want a sleeve or not I would rather do the sleeve rather than the straps um, and then for the knee let's see what I have for the knee as far as protection goes right Um, the knee, yeah, these knees have definitely more padding on them. Now, that's interesting as well. I didn't notice that at first. Um, wait, what side is this on? This is the left. Okay. Yeah, there is a lot more. Let me show you guys right quick. I'm sorry. There is a lot more padding in the knee on the ones with the actual strap. You can actually probably see it here. I'm not really sure if I can or not, but um, yeah, the padding here is definitely more on this. This one is almost just like the elbow pad, and you can tell like it's skinny and slim padding here is very very slim but it is a little bit longer on the sleeve it goes down just a little bit more maybe about an inch or so but it's not as thick as these are so this is going to have more protection this is more light protection but again this is still not heavy duty um, but it's definitely going to help save your kneecaps and save some skin on a serious fall so it depends on what you're looking for if you want something more lighter and just more light protection then you could definitely go with the sleeves and the sleeves are actually uh, a little bit cheaper but if you want something more heavy duty I would say go with the pads here especially for the knees or you can mix match it um, if you want more protection I would get the knee pads with the straps and then do the sleeves for the arms as far as being comfortable um, the knees I would say are about the same to me the sleeves are comfortable but these don't feel bad even though they're not they don't have the sleeve I would say these are just as comfortable elbow I would go with the sleeve if you if you're looking at the elbow um, and we're talking about being comfortable the sleeves feel more comfortable than knees but these aren't bad either I really just don't like the straps kind of hanging like that but um, but they don't get in the way and they're not bad or anything so so yeah other than that guys that is about it for this review for these oh let me just do a stand up right quick in case you want to see how they look standing up some people actually like that so 
mean, I wouldn't wear these shorts out there on the trail, but you know, hold on, let me see if I can stand over this way. So, yeah. And so that's about it, guys. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments about them, I'll put the link in the description where you can get these pretty much anywhere. Amazon, all your bike shops or stores online sell them. Um, but yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.